بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned a variety of different virtues uh, for surahs of the Quran you'll find regarding surah mulk the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has highlighted that the one who recites it during the night it will be a means of protection for him uh, from the trials and the punishment of the grave uh, the one who recites Surah Al-Kahf, it will be a source of protection uh, for him from the uh, Dajjal. Uh, an individual who recites uh, Surah Yasin, and, and there are many hadith regarding Surah Yasin that uh, read it upon your deceased, uh, for it decreases uh, the, the stupor and the pangs of death upon them. Uh, likewise, uh, the recital of Surah Al-Fatiha as a source of Shifa. There are various surahs in the Quran and, and, and many of them have virtues. There are many verses in the Quran, for example, the last two verses of Surah Al-Baqarah, reciting them before going to sleep. Uh, you have Surah Falaq, Surah Nas. Uh, you know, these are all surahs which have uh, uh, v- virtues and values that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has, uh, uh, has given in order to protect the believer. Now, we want to understand how can we memorize them all right now the first and most important step to memorizing the quran is that you need to know your own capacity okay so instead of being a person who starts memorizing all the way from alif la mim etc or all the way from the back towards the front let's take some important surahs and say to ourselves that okay i'm going to do my best during lockdown to memorize them because they're very short surahs you know they're they're only maybe three or four pages long maybe a little bit more than that or a little bit less than that okay the first thing we're going to do is identify which surahs that we need to learn uh, and and the reason being that the way that you'll practice them will be, for example, when you're going to work in the morning or when you're leaving work in the evening or you're coming home from Isha, well, not during lockdown, but after Isha Salah, you're just chilling out, etc. on the couch, pondering life as we do. And then you think to yourself, OK, let me just recite some uh, Quran uh, and, and it's over within two or three minutes. But what you've done is you've uh, you've allowed yourself to achieve some reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the first thing as far as memorizing the Quran is concerned is that you need to specify a time you need to say that for one hour in the morning from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. and and when you're memorizing the Quran the best time is generally the morning period okay that's when your mind is fresh uh, that you haven't got too many stresses on your mind that your your your, your mind hasn't been bogged down with uh, the the work of the day or whatever uh, problems that you have uh, at work or whatever it's not coming into play at the moment so you know early in the morning you know uh, after Fajr is the best time uh, any other time in the morning, you say to yourself, I'm going to sit for one hour and I'm going to memorize a portion of the Quran. See how much you can memorize before you have that mind fog coming in and that mental block which is stopping you from uh, visualizing the Quran in your mind anymore. So say to yourself that I'm going to recite, let's say, three lines of the Quran and I'm going to, and this is what I'm going to try to uh, learn in an hour. And you'll find that some people are perhaps uh, better at this than others. Some individuals will maybe be able to memorize eight lines or 12 lines or or an entire page etc others will be able to memorize only two or three lines depending it all depends upon you your age your aptitude for for study etc but what you will realize is that the more you do it the more your mind will open up so you might start off with two lines or three lines or four lines and and you'll find yourself within uh, you know uh, the period of a few weeks going up to five or six or seven lines because you know you've unlocked the potential of your mind once again so say to yourself that okay i'm going to study for one hour and i'm going to do only two to three lines continue it repeat it okay now what you need to do is the second day you need to go over what you have already learned and you also need to add to that okay so you learn five lines etc you need to find at least half an hour where you're going to dedicate yourself to that five lines and then an hour again in order to memorize those uh, the, the the new lines that you're going to 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 learn and most importantly you need to find someone to read it to okay remember a lot of individuals feel that okay i'm going to do this by myself i think i can do it by myself and many a times you will be able to do a lot by yourself but you need somebody to take out your mistakes and the reality is that everybody reads something wrong just like the way you write something and it needs proofreading sometimes when you read something and you memorize it you need someone to validate and verify that what you've learned is actually correct okay and it goes for even myself all right uh, there, there, there's many places of the Quran when I was a young kid that I was uh, learning and uh, I learned it wrong initially uh, okay and I needed my teacher 
to come to me and tell me that this is a mistake. And there were times even later on in my life where I would read to my teacher and I would say to and, and, and I'd be reciting and I'd make the same mistake that I made when, you know, when I was a, a, a child to him. And he would say, this is an old mistake. This is an old mistake. You need to rectify it. Old mistake. You need to rectify it. OK, so uh, what you need is somebody who can listen to you okay, on, on a regular basis. And there are many people who can you know, listen to you on a regular basis. I'm sure if you got in touch with the, the masjid, uh, you know, the, the imams are more than uh, happy to listen to, to individuals who are there. Otherwise, people within your family, people within your social circle, individuals that you know, that you trust. OK, recite to them, listen to them, uh, ask them to listen to you. Don't be too shy to read to them. OK, read to them consistently every day. And you need to also set a time for that. Remember, nothing happens on an ad hoc basis. Don't say to yourself that, oh, I'm going to learn it and I'm going to read it at whatever time. The time for learning needs to be stipulated. The time for memorizing needs to be stipulated. And the time for recital to someone and correcting your mistakes also needs to be stipulated. Okay. All in all, you're looking at about two hours of your day, which is spent on, on, on the recital of the Quran or on Hifz. Okay, one hour uh, to memorize, half an hour to revise what you've done the day before, and half an hour to recite to somebody who can take your mistake. And as, as they're taking your mistake, I mean, usually this would be done face to face, but because uh, obviously the, the situation that we're currently in, use uh, uh, you know uh, a pencil or something where you're going through zoom your teacher takes out your mistake okay then highlight that mistake that i made a mistake over here and i now need to rectify that mistake and you will find that after you know uh, after two or three days you'll have learned you know maybe a page or two pages of the quran depending on how much you've learned and this is all about progress the more you see progress in your life that okay i'm actually learning something then you will uh, you know you, you'll continue to do more how does this now manifest your Yourself in your life though you might have that half an half an hour that you're reading to your 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 teacher how does that uh, uh, continue in, in your actual day-to-day -day life the way that that works is that in the morning when you're off to work you've got sort of a scene playing and thereafter you're listening to it and you're reciting it as, as well as it goes on okay in the morning this is the best way to revise it that you're reading it and and, and you're listening to it at the same time it will become stable and 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 it will be in your in your in your in your life Surah Mulk, you know, after Isha, maybe you're chilling out, maybe you're, you're doing your bedtime routine, etc., putting the kids to sleep. As you're putting the kids to sleep and you're reciting, you know, whatever du'as and, and, and protection for yourself and for your children as, as well, add in Surah Mulk as you're putting them to sleep. It's not going to take too long. Remember, the more fluent you become with reading the Quran, people complain, oh, it takes me too long to read Quran, it takes me too long to read Quran. Well, how long does it take a person to read Surah Fatiha? It's, it's really quick. It, it takes a, a child, you know, seconds to read Surah Fatiha. At, at lightning speed uh, the reason is because they've memorized it and, and we've memorized it that's why we're comfortable with it therefore as soon as you become comfortable with the surah you will read it at the pace that you read something like surah yasin or, or surah al nas or surah, uh, surah al falaq or wh whatever it may be okay and this is basically the way that you memorize portions of the quran okay and uh, and and what i'm trying to say over here is that the most important thing here is consistency if you are disciplined and if you are consistent, you will definitely be able to achieve it. Okay, Allah has made the Quran easy for a person. I mean, this is this is a per, this is what Allah has promised in the Quran that the Quran is easy for one to memorize should they want to memorize it. But you have to put several things in place. Okay, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that a uh, a heart without the Quran is like a, a a house which is barren and desolate. Okay, that, that like there is no light in it, no warmth in it. This is like how a house. How have the believer is if he hasn't got any Quran in his in in his heart? Okay, it's very very important to 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 use this time that we have at home to memorize the Quran as much as we can of it. Remember, you don't have to become a hafiz if you after you've mem you you memorize Surah Yasin and you've mem you've you've uh, 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 memorized Surah Mulk uh, and uh, and and whatever other surahs that you've decided to memorize. You know, small small surahs. Maybe after that you say to yourself, well, actually, you know what, I want to go on to something bigger. And you can do so. And, and there are many, uh, you know, uh, provisions that uh, the masjid can uh, can put in place should people be um, uh, interested in it. So these are a few thoughts that I thought I'd share with you today. A uh, very practical type of um, uh, speech or, or, or discourse. 
Uh, but definitely the Quran is there for you to memorize. You just have to specify the times and then stick with it. The more you stick with it, the more it will open up to you. Okay. Uh, don't think to yourself, oh, I can't read it properly. I don't know how to read it properly. You know, it, you'll get better as you learn. You'll pick up uh, mistakes as you learn. You'll have someone to rectify you as you learn. And sooner or later, you'll be looking back in, a, in about a month's time and say, well, oh my God, I've, I've memorized for a scene. And, and that is a treasure that will stay with you, inshallah, provided that you work on it for the rest of your life okay that yes i was on this earth and i memorized this portion of the quran and this portion of the quran that my salah wasn't then limited to just reading in atina and 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 call out the rabbin nas you know i was reading longer surahs every salah uh, uh, so these are a few thoughts that i thought i'd share with you may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, embed the quran in my heart and in your heart may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy to memorize for us all may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to recite the quran day and night in the manner that he would like us to recite it i mean alhamdulillah